All right, so that first wine was amazing. So thank you, Sal. You're um, second wine we're gonna taste is a great one. This is um, really the connection here is to Knights Valley, but it's called Knights Link Vineyard. So really nice Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, 2016 vintage. This area is up uh, just east of uh, Healdsburg. It's kind of tucked away in the mountains there, uh, just below the, the east side of, of uh, Alexander Valley. And it is a back route to Calistoga. And for that reason, it's actually why it became so famous, I think, is because of Behringer um, got it first. And then uh, Peter Michael, Sir Peter Michael, had his amazing uh, winery built there and produces some of the greatest cult wines in America. So this is just a small little tidbit, but this uh, gentleman had a little connection with Sir Peter That's Michael. Correct. That's yeah. correct. So this vineyard was uh, owned by Peter Michaels at one time. Wow. And uh, so uh, Chris today, our consultant, is a really good friend of uh, the family. So that's how we get these grapes. Great. And um, we we make the most of this wine, 120 cases. Wow. So, you know what I get out of it just on the nose is a little bit more of that volcanic matter. And it's funny because Mount St. Helena is sitting right there. And also the part that kind of exploded over in Lake County that flew this way into Sonoma County is really there too. So very volcanic soils, very gravelly, exactly what Cabernet Sauvignon likes. This is a very special little tidbit here. It is, it is, definitely. Love it. I love, the, I love that tobacco and that chocolatey note on yep. there. Uh, it's got a real um, personality to it and it is great uh, Cabernet Sauvignon on the nose. Mm. In the mouth, a lot more red fruits here. Definitely that red cherry. Um, there's a little touch of cinnamon in there, which yeah. is that little barrel treatment by Chris Taddy, who's an amazing winemaker. But also, you know, just that personality that really kind of comes out. When I used to go there as a kid, we'd go hunt for um, b berries out in the mm -hmm. woods, and it really tastes like that woody kind of am amazing flavor from being out there and finding a, a grouping of really nice berries out there that you're picking and, and eating yourself. And I love that uh, cassis note in the end. It is so that, pretty. That's just uh, the perfect finish. So I agree. This is uh, another gem from us. Thank you very much. I like it. Once again, Knights Valley, Sonoma County. That's the middle one in this flight. And let's taste this last one. This one really has a lot more to do with kind of the clientele and just who loves these wines. Um, once again, this is a very small production. This last wine is from Oakville, Napa Valley. This is the uh, 2015 vintage um, Oakville Stanford Vineyard. Stanford, anyone ever hear of the name Stanford? Tell us a little bit about that. So uh, this vineyard is owned by Stanford family. Alan Stanford is the owner of this vineyard and we've been buying this, buying the grapes from him for the last four years. And he is an awesome personality and <clears throat> As far as I know, that whatever uh, profit he makes goes to the uh, Stanford Hospital. So that's a really nice cause. And uh, uh, we made about 66 packs of this. Yeah. So, and you know, if you guys know your Colt Wines, Harlan Estate, uh, Napa Valley, uh, this vineyard looks over Harlan Estate. So Oakville, for most people, they just drive by, oh, look, there's Opus One, or there's this winery right there, these are actually hillside vineyards, which is where some of the most famous stuff comes from. It's up there in the hillside where you can't see it. And this is just a very small little vineyard. And I love the intensity of this. Just on the nose, wow. Dark fruits, big, ripe, but also layered with some really nice kinds of coatings there. There's like a cardamom in here. There's a lot of like unique kinds of uh, It's smells. complex. Yeah. It's really complex. This wine has so much going on right now. I mean, I, and it's only 2015. If you lay it down for a few years, this wine will be like gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I just think that the, you know, the complexity of this wine, uh, we opened it just a little while ago. It's opening up so much. This is a kind of sipping wine that, yes, we can do it with 
uh, you know, really great juicy steak, a nice ribeye would be wonderful with this. It's also one of those wines that you want to spend some time with. I think right now, when everyone seems to be at home for a little while, these are the kinds of wines you really want to draw an evening out with. It's a kind of movie, uh, it's kind of movie pairing that you really want to because as a, if you watch a great movie, the characters become more complex as, as the plot goes along. It's the same thing inside this glass. This is only going to get better as it, as it opens up. So I feel like we've got some more work to do tasting this for a little while, but let me show you my pairing with this. Um, you know, our great friend Stefan, uh, Chef Stefan, um, from uh, Le Comtois in San Rafael, uh, really imports great cheeses. And this is a really wonderful blue cheese here. So a blue cheese, if you have that ribeye and you shave a little bit of this on top of that ribeye right after you pull it off the grill, not a crazy idea if you have a wine like this. Um, I just think this is amazing, and I will eat the rest of this you're, shortly. You're making me hungry, man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I really appreciate this. How can people find these wines? Um, <clears throat> you can go online, allenwines.com, and, um, you know, there's uh, the whole link up there, how you can order it. And as I'm with Chris today, I would like to give everybody, whoever orders it, and says Chris Sawyer's name, with the order, we'll get 25% discount today. Wow, that's a good deal. Well, I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. We really love it when you uh, follow me and, and the great people that I know and, and the wonderful wines that they, they represent. Um, it's just great having you here, Sal. Thank, thank you. I really appreciate both Chris and Simone for yeah. me having her and uh, uh, tasting the wines with me. Yeah, you got it, my friend. Cheers. Right, buddy, cheers. Cheers. Cheers.